In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a stroboscope disc for calibrating your speed on your turntable. Now, these discs used to be pretty common. I don't know how easy they are to find today. Uh, I just happened to have one that was loaned to me, and I don't actually own one of these discs. I had one when I was in the service business. But uh, when I left the shop, I left it behind. And I haven't had one for forever because all the turntables that I own actually have the strobe um, etched right into the side of the turntable and they have their own internal strobe light. So all the turntables that I've owned, have I haven't needed one of these. But now that I'm servicing turntables again for people, there's a lot of the older ones that don't have these. And it just so happened that I had someone bring me a turntable and they had a strobe disc on it so that I could calibrate the speed using their disc. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to have a copy of that? Well, I will make a copy of that and I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically how these discs work is you have to use them under a fluorescent light that is running with a magnetic ballast or a neon lamp. But if your turntable is going the correct speed on this here chart, we have a series of, of rings and this is a 60 Hertz one so this this one will only work in 60 Hertz countries there are stroboscope discs that were made for uh, 50 Hertz countries as well but you have these series of rings here and the outer two are for uh, I think it's minus 4 and minus 2 percent speed and then the middle one here that's 33 and then plus 2 and plus 4 percent and then the inner rings here these were for 78 rpm minus 4 minus 2 percent 78 plus 2 and plus 4 and if you flipped it over it was the same thing but it was for 16 and 2 thirds with your speed under correct speed speed over and the 45 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my scanner and I'm going to scan it on my computer and then I'm going to print a copy on my laser printer and we'll see how well it works so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to haul up my scanner that I haven't used in ages. I'm just going to open the scanner up and uh, put my disc in here. and You can see it fits quite nicely. So I'll just center it up there on the scanner. And I'll go over to the scanner software and we'll scan this. So I've got my scanner software open. I'm going to select it. This is a document type, not a photo. I'll select it as a black and white document. And uh, I'm going to scan it at the highest possible quality of the scanner, which is 600 dpi. Okay, so we're ready to scan. I'm just going to click scan and it's going to scan my image and it's going to save it to my computer and I'll do the same thing for the uh, the 45 side. So I've now got it scanned. I actually scanned it once as a JPEG when I first fired up the scanner. So I just did my new scans in uh, TIFF, 33 RPM and 45 RPM. If I open it up, there I have a perfect replica of the original. I'm going to go and print it and um, so go to print there we go print and I'm going to click on print and uh, send this off to the printer and uh, we'll cut it down to size and see whether it uh, works when I'm done well the 16 rpm outer bands here didn't show up as as uh, clearly as I would have hoped but that's okay we don't really need the 16 rpm I can actually cut this smaller and uh, only, I only want this really for the 45 which is the inner ones here and they're fine and the 33 and 78 I've already cut that one as you can see I'm just gonna cut the 45 one now so I can stick the two of them together and turn it into a double side and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll we'll throw some tape over it to preserve it so to cut the center I'm just gonna fold it over on, on, onto itself so they can get the uh, center pretty much centered here that way I can cut I can cut a couple of little slots here in that. That way when I put it over the turntable right in the middle I can center it and it'll push through the paper like that. Now it's centered. Now if I turn this thing into 45 let's see how, how well it works. Oh, it looks pretty darn good. Here's the 45 ring here in the middle. Looking nice and stationary. We'll try the 33 RPM.
For the 33 it's going to be this one that stays stationary. And there it is. Nicely strobing. That's how you make a, a copy of a strobe, strobe, strobe disc. I'm going to now finish this off by putting the two pieces together, trimming it up, and then I'm going to put a bunch of packing tape over top of it to keep it in good shape. So there it is, complete. I've uh, glued the two backs, half the uh, two pages back to back, so that I've got my 33 and my 45 uh, disc, and I've just put some tape on it to protect it from wear. Laminating obviously would be better, but I don't have a laminating machine, so. I just used some packing tape. Uh, you can see my 33 RPM is stable. And it's a little bit rippled there from the tape, but hey, it'll do the job. I can see that perfect with my eyes that uh, this table is running the correct speed. Thanks for watching. If you guys want the files for this, let me know and I can uh, probably kick you over the files if you want to make your own strobe disc. I know these things are getting hard to get, so having a scan of the files in a TIFF uh, format. Allow me to make one and whenever I need one. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.